Hello and welcome to Art with Mrs G. In today's lesson we're going to be printing with random objects that we find around our house and a bit of cardboard to do a Lowry style picture. So let's find out who Lowry is. Lawrence Stephen Lowry is one of the UK's most popular artists, famous for his paintings of everyday life in the industrial towns of northern England often his home of Salford, although he actually grew up in Manchester and later moved out towards the countryside. He completed thousands of paintings and many more drawings in his lifetime, including landscapes, seascapes and portraits. He worked all day as a rent collector, painting in the evenings and paying for private art classes. And he spent hours observing people rushing about, chatting, relaxing, riding bikes, pushing prams, piling in and out of the factories and generally busy with their everyday chores. The little people are famously referred to as his matchstick men and are dark figures on white backgrounds. He also paints factories with smoking chimneys, grey skies and red brick workers' houses. The person he actually wanted to impress with his work the most was his mother, who he lived alone with and looked after for many years long after his father died. Now that we know a little bit more about Lowry's paintings, we need to go and find some objects from around the house to print with. So maybe some square shapes and rectangular shapes to print buildings with, some triangles to go on the roofs, maybe some circles also to print prams and bicycles and puffs of smoke in the sky. And failing that, grab some cardboard because we can always create a shape with some cardboard. Well, I don't know what you found, but I found a pot of building blocks and I thought these might be quite useful for printing with. I'm not sure how well the, the wood will hold the paint but it's worth a try. Um, and then I found some round objects so there's um, a cork there and some plastic lids and various size cotton reels which might be useful and also the wheels, the tyres from Lego. So that's my circles. And I've also got a pot of Lego and I can add little handles on top of them so that might be quite useful. And finally, of course, your good old Amazon delivery boxes. Get a pair of scissors and some sellotape and chop them up into whichever shapes you want. So I'm just going to make a few more triangles and rectangles ready for printing. By the way, I don't want to completely ruin the thread on my reel, it's not finished yet, so I'm going to cover that with sellotape. Now I've cut out the basic shapes, I need some strips of cardboard to sellotape on them and make handles. Fold it in half. Fold back some wings, like that, and stick it on. Now I'm just getting the final few things ready before I start printing. So we need some paints. So um, these are the colours that Lowry liked. So you need a nice strong red. His, he used to use vermilion red. He had yellow ochre, which is quite a yellowy orange colour, but just any nice strong yellow will do. If you put a little bit of red in it, you can make it a slightly stronger colour. Um, he used flake white, so find yourself a white and black. And then finally, he liked Prussian blue, which is really quite a dark blue. Um, if your blue is too light that you have at home, just put a little bit of, um, of black into it. But you can mix any of these colours with a little bit of white to make a tint or a little bit of black to make a new shade. And then, of course, you need something to put your paints into. So a plate is quite good because you can press your shapes down into it. Or, of course, you could um, get a brush and then you could 
stroke the paint on with the brush which is quite nice because you don't waste too much and you can make sure you cover it very well. I've mixed some blue and white and a little bit of black in there so it's not too bright to make this nice pale colour and I'm going to use this for houses in the background and start with the background first because things in the distance are always much paler and they're also smaller so I'm going to get my smaller shapes out now. So here we go, I'm going to dip that into the paint and actually cover it using the brush as well because it's just more effective. There we go, that's nicely covered. And now I'm going to have some houses in the background. Press and push and lift. And you get the random effects that we like in printing where you get these marks all over it because I'm using the cardboard which has actually got lines in it. I'll do one sideways. There we go, turn it round another one pointing up over here and I can use that same piece of cardboard and I can maybe change the colour slightly I might put a bit of red in with it now so we get more brownie colour coming up on there there we go so I'm actually mixing it on the cardboard so let's see let's put another one in there I'm going to make that a bit taller take it up higher Get one over here as well, sideways on. One in the background there, make that a tall one as well. Okay, so that's the start. And I think I'm going to try some of my Lego now. So let's take, um, let's take a bit of yellow on this one. Yellow and the black and everything. It's all mixing together at the moment. I don't mind, it's nice random colors that I'm getting from these ones. Here we go. Oh, that's rather nice. I get a different effect from the Lego. They look like little windows. There we go. Let's put some more on. I'm going to put a bit of black on it now as well. And let's go sideways on that one. Okie dokie. I might overprint actually because these look a bit like windows. I'm going to do this on top of some of the other shapes that I've already done. Yeah, so they look a little bit like windows. There we go. If you turn the Lego on its side, you get a nice solid printing shape. So I'm going to put some gray on that, some black and white there. And I'm going to use this to do some chimney shapes on top of my buildings in the background. There we go. A little bit more, maybe make it slightly darker. Make some of them really tall. Some of the tall chimneys in his paintings go up very high into the sky. The other thing I found is quite successful for larger rectangles and things is putting together lots of Lego blocks, the same shape. And then if you paint the nice smooth side on the Lego like that, you can get some nice building shapes from it. So I'm just going to overlap those a little bit as well at the back there. While I'm working on the background, I'm going to do some rings of smoke coming out of these chimneys. So I have got some Lego tires here. I'm going to have a go with some of those in sort of greys and black. So where I've got a space, I'm going to have it going up sideways out of the chimney like that. That's quite nice. And I can try my cotton reel as well. Oh, that's going to have a nice thin line around this one I can see. I can overlap that a bit, puffing through the sky. That's really effective, actually. I like that one. Here we go. Quick hand wipe. Make sure you're not ruining everything. Now for some larger, stronger coloured houses in the foreground. Houses and factories, in fact, of course. So here we go. I'm going to leave a little gap so it looks like there's a street going into the distance. And you need to leave some space at the front for your stick men, your matchstick men like Lowry. Might change the colour of this block slightly, add a little bit of red so I get a stronger brown colour forming on the printing ink. Here we go. Pop that one in there. 
Okay, now I'm using my wooden building blocks for printing, which is quite effective. And I'm putting a bit of yellow in to break up all this red and blue at the moment. This is looking quite nice. So I'm doing the buildings in the foreground, in the front now. It's like a second row of houses. I can use the side of this brick. Um, this wide side is pretty good for bigger buildings. There we go. And I might add some red onto that too. Do a red block over here. And make it a little bit higher by stacking above it. That looks quite good. The chimneys on the houses in the foreground, um, I'm going to do a slightly darker colour. I'm using the side of my Lego again because that was really effective. Dip it in the paint or brush it on, they both work. And use the side of this for little doorways. Just adding some smoke rings on the chimneys I put in the foreground in a slightly darker colour, more black. Finally, I want to have a pram and a bicycle maybe in my picture because Lowry often showed daily life going on with these things. So I'm going to use one of these little tyres from my Lego and I'm going to print some wheels. But then after that, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to use a little brush to paint on my little Lowry people. So there's two little pram wheels there. And I'm going to, if there's accident on your paper, I've made a bit of a mess, you can work around it and cover it up later. So that can be the man on my bicycle actually, where I've got that splodge. There we go. That's going to be a bicycle there. Um, I like these, so I think I might have another one down here as well. Lovely. Perfect. And now to let it dry, and then we can put the little matchstick men on. So while your painting is drying, get yourself a little paintbrush and some water, use up what's left of your paint colours and practice doing little figures moving. Try somebody leaning over, walking forward, and a little child in red standing next to them. And then here's two people chatting and waving their arms in the air. And then I had a go at putting a person on a bicycle and making sure they were holding the handlebars and leaning forward as well. And then you can try doing your little stick people in the background who are just really lines with dots on top and use a paler grey as you go into the distance. And then, of course, you must try doing a little tiny dog with ovals and a little tiny cat. Go ahead and add your stick people to your picture now. But remember, they should be much smaller than your buildings. So some time later, I've added lots more people in, but with every single person in the picture, I thought, what are they doing? Are they moving? Which way are they going? Who are they chatting to? Who's that child playing with? Who is that dog watching? And um, all the little people are heading towards the factory up the street. So do think about what your stick men are doing. I hope you enjoyed printing with me today and learning all about our lovely British artist Lowry and if you did please give my video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!